Hi muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. By uh, hi camp. <laughs> hi, hi fucking camp is this. I hope you're all having a good day and we are going to be talking about the fact that Catherine McBroom has lost it. She, she has like, she's just lost it. There is, there is no way to properly describe how much this woman has lost it. And, you know, recently we've talked about the Ace family. They've uh, quit YouTube. They've quit YouTube. Um, basically, which means that they did a video saying that they were quitting YouTube. But they're saying that they're quitting a year in advance. So they're quitting YouTube next year. But they are telling you a year in advance because they wanted to ease the process. And then at the end of that video, they basically said that they're doing Ace Fest, which is basically... TanaCon meets Disneyland. Now, the only reason I'm saying that, because that sounds fucking ridiculous, is because they said it was like, like, what was like, Fun Fair meets like Disneyland, or some bullshit like that. Um, or what was it exactly? It was like Disneyland meets, Disneyland meets, what was it? Who remembers? Remember they were like, oh my god, wait, I actually am gonna Google this, just because it was so deranged, if I'm remembering. Ace Fest... 2022 Ace Family. It was like Disneyland meets something. Oh my god, what was it? Okay, here we go. Ace Family Fest. Tickets go on sale um, at this time. Disneyland meets Coachella. It was Disneyland meets Coachella. All right. That is fucking ridiculous. So, the only reason they did this video that was basically um, the reason they were quitting was so they could promote their festival. And so they're getting a lot of backlash for that. And it's also important to note that Catherine and Austin recently have been doing so much clickbait on their YouTube channel. Like, I love a bit of clickbait, right? But they've been doing so many videos that have been hinting at pregnancies. And I actually saw one. I don't watch a lot of their videos, but I saw that a lot of people were talking about this specific thing. So I went and watched it. And it was basically, they have been hinting at a pregnancy in multiple videos now so that they can get people watching each one if that's going to be the one where they and it's a pregnancy. So, for example, one video, they make a big deal about the fact they go and buy a pregnancy test. And then at the end of the video, they say, well, you're gonna have to wait until the next video to see whenever we take it. Like, literally, that's what they've done. They don't take the test in the video because they're like, oh, we're gonna keep it for tomorrow's video. And they're like, but we're so excited to figure out. So they're obviously just leading on like their young child audiences to like watch their shit and Listen, I, again, I'm not going to hate on people for doing a bit of clickbait. I do love a bit of clickbait. Um, but whenever they really so heavily have been relying on just lying to their audience, I think it's saying a lot about the fact that they are at least a little bit self-conscious about their YouTube career right now, I would say so. So anyway, for today's video, what we're going to be talking about is Catherine has basically went on a very deranged rant, if I do say so myself, on her Snapchat. And it has so many people talking and also there's something in here that I want to show you that um, it was actually one of my friends sent it to me. I think it was on like Lipstick Alley website or something that basically Catherine has like a big text chain with her fans and she's been saying the same kind of shit that she's saying here privately to her fans as well. And it just is so dangerous the things that she's been saying and also it's just so ironic. So we're just going to go through this and read. So Catherine McBroom. For the past couple of months, I haven't spent much time on social media, which like is so not true. <laughs> it's like so not true. Like she's on it every single day. Like if she's cutting back, you can say that you're cutting back, but let's not act like we're higher than higher. Jesus Christ, we are literally on it every day, babe. For the past couple of months, I haven't been on social media that much. I haven't looked or used Twitter since last June other than maybe once. Never looked at blogs, news outlets, Instagram. I have like nobody on my Snapchat feed to even watch. So again, I don't mean to just like jab at everything here, but she's saying that she hasn't been checking like news outlets, which is so ironic because remember when they did the video for the house foreclosure, all they did was reference news articles that have been talking about them. So again, not true. Not necessarily on purpose, it just kind of happened. Tonight I spent some time looking at what people are talking about and wow, there's so much poison. Ironic. There's so much poison, y'all. Catherine McBroom is telling you that there's so much poison on the internet. That's not her poison. Gossip is poison. Propaganda is poison. Not a fucking propaganda talk from fucking Catherine McBroom. What is this? I started to feel anxious and even more anxious typing this knowing people will read it. It's almost like social media is your job, babe. 
Gomez, Gomez, it's not a running joke. Gomez, it's like a running joke in my fucking comments tonight that anytime I fuck. All I need to do is stand up because he knows he's not allowed to do it. So I keep doing it like a, it's almost like a fucking inside joke uh, between me and my friends, but it specifically is with me and the muckers now. Anytime I go to fucking film, Gomez literally has learned how to open doors. And anytime I'm filming in here, I want everyone in here, and then he tries to escape and go away, and I just like, ragdolls are a lot. <laughs> so anyway, anytime, that's, the past three videos I filmed, he's fucking dumb that night. He does it all the time. Let me like, show you him, because I feel like I'm talking about him a lot without showing you him. So this is the little fucker who keeps trying to escape, and he is basically just being a lot. So, Gomez. Thank you for your contributions, for distracting this video, and for distracting the video I posted earlier today, and all the videos I posted yesterday. We really appreciate the distractions. Um, so anyway, now let's go on with uh, what this nonsense is, and I don't use that word a lot. Propaganda is poison. I start to feel anxious knowing that people will read this, which is so ironic because that's literally what you do every single day. We live in such a scary time. People forget that we are nature. We're supposed to be out in nature, having real connections with each other. Healing one another, working for meaningful energy exchange, helping one another not destroy each other. <sighs> Boring. Fucking hell, Jesus. <sighs> So boring, Catherine. This is so boring. There's no compassion. Nobody wants to understand anyone. So quick to judge and believe whatever they hear. So quick to speak and not listen. There's so much. Anyways, I hope you're doing okay. I just love people so much. What's so ironic is basically she's calling herself right there because she's like, you know, all we want to do is talk. We don't want to listen. But all she's saying here is that she is refusing to look at any social media posts or any news outlets, but she has no problem speaking. <laughs> so she is literally saying that it's so, it's so poison. All we want to do is talk instead of listen. But then all she has said was like, you know, I've talked for the past couple of years instead of like looking at other people's. Girl, stop. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay. I just love people so much. I.e., I love the people that will continue putting money in my bank. Do you feel the same? I want to know how everyone is feeling. And then she goes on and says, it gets worse, by the way, literally. Of course it gets worse. These platforms are controlled by the elite. Catherine McBroom is telling us, regular folk, that basically we're being brainwashed by the elite when she is one of the elite. These platforms are controlled by the elite. We're in a vicious cycle to keep the collective's vibrations low. What in the Trisha Paytas? Fucking vibrations and shit. What, what is this? To keep us in fear. Fear. <laughs> False evidence appearing real. Not a fake news fucking rant from Catherine McBroom. It's not real, guys! And a bunch of exclamation marks. None of this is real. It's a cycle. And we're all waking up. It starts with you. It literally says that. It starts with you. I promise you make a difference. I love you so much. What is this? What is this? Seriously, Catherine, what is this? Holy fuck. But I love you so much because the elites don't. And so anyway, someone said, you're the one spreading po uh, propaganda. Plus, you're profiting off of all the platforms that you say are being controlled by the elite. Check your privilege. And that is such a great point. And so Catherine goes on to say, <laughs> content is art. Art is healing. Healing is love. And love is God. One of my first downloads in my first plant medicine ceremony with grandmother, I, uh... I've been drinking medicine for almost a year behind closed doors. So behind them, fuck me. Healing everyone in my circle. Facilitating and holding space for everyone I know. Healing me, my traumas, my fears, my pains. Surrendering to the things that bring me deep pain and releasing uh, what doesn't serve me anymore. We are all one. My family- Oh my god, this is so boring. <laughs> so boring. My god, my family and I have only spread love. Mm-hmm. So you have. That is true, Catherine. All you and your family have done has spread love. Do I even need to make a joke there? I feel like it's so, like, self-explanatory, you know what I mean? 
the all the Ace family have done ever spreading love spreading love while in the process of trying to get their young fans to sign up for their newest scam but it's all love it's all love it's, it's, it's all love it's proven after the world tried to destroy us after the world tried to destroy them how dare the world how dare the world and we only got stronger and filled with more love mm hmm mm, yeah the energy exchange from what we've accumulated over the years for our hard work is much greater than you can imagine. Their hard work. Mm-hmm. But I'm not here to feed my ego. Mm-hmm. Holy <laughs> like, fucking Jesus. And tell the world what we've done for others. It's proven. This is so... Did she read this back? She doesn't need to feed her ego or tell the world the good things that she has done. Because it's proven. My god, no one else speaks like this. Energy doesn't lie. Humans feel what's real and what isn't. You're here for a reason. Watching my stories for a reason. Ask yourself why you're here. Because it was sent to me, babe. <laughs> Fuck me, did the vibration send it to me on fucking Reddit? We are here to learn lessons. I love you, girl. No, you don't. You do not love my ass. So anyway, on LipstickAlley.com, it has this, which says, Catherine's Awakened Family, which is a group chat, 25,000 subscribers. So she sends text to her little awakened family, so her subscribers who signed up for this text service, I guess. Is this so not culty to anyone else? I am so respectful of spiritual journeys, of religious journeys, of self-expression, finding all different things about yourself and what you like. This is so culty, this one. <laughs> this one is culty. So she texts her, you know, awakened family. Oh my god, that's so cute. We should try that. Awakened family. I'll let you in on a secret, my awakened family. For the past couple of months and years, since my awakening... Awakening? Awakening from this is literally a cult. I be I've become terrified of clowns. Okay. Clowns pointing, laughing, and bullying was such a part of the process while I was awakening. I faced it and surrendered to it. Mm-hmm. And it's been liberating. My brother Ryan has been such a key in my journey, and texts like this mean everything. I love how she's like, texts like these mean everything, so you're so, so lucky to be getting one. I wanted to share his message as it may be a seed planted for you that you never knew you needed. Girl, what is this? What is this? Who are we? What? What? Muckers, I need to know your opinion on this. Let's talk about it below. Thank you for being here. Catherine, what? Mm-hmm.